Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to be going over the rear speakers. I got to get those in before I get the rear window in because I like to reach down through instead of laying on my back. You know, rear speaker things. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to attempt this. Easiest way possible for me. Maybe it'll help you. There it is. So here's our pieces. I went with a fairly budget-minded Pioneer 6 by 9s Nothing crazy, just kind of testing the theory right now. I think they were 50 bucks or so on Amazon. I'd like to run just rear speakers and not have to worry about a subwoofer in this car. So I'm hoping I can get as much boom, for rock music anyway, that I need. So I went with these B-Box boxes. They're ported, so they're a little bit bigger for the airspace, come lined, pretty decent quality construction. And my goal here is to mount these to the package tray from the underside. So, if you will, my speaker will sit in here. And I got me some little brackets from Amazon. These are, you know, any installer will have these. These are Metra. And they're for a Camry 6x9 plate. But it doesn't matter because the only reason I bought these was for how they mount. So my thought process here is I can put this onto this here. And this will be how I mount the speaker. So I can drill through to mount the speaker to the box. And then this plate will mount the bottom side of the package tray with bolts so I'll have some threaded nuts rib nuts through the package tray and then I can just reach up under here and thread me some little bolts in there and that'll hold this whole assembly up in the package tray so we're gonna try that join me won't you so I went ahead and mounted this up excuse me mocked it up where these holes are in the bottom, I drilled out so I can fit my bolts. Excuse me. Words today. So I can fit my little bit in there. Right? Then line these up to these factory holes over here. And drilled these out a little bit so I got four holes that line up. This will make sense in a minute. And then I went and flipped this little guy over. Use the bolt holes to center this through the holes here so that I know I'm still on center. Mark these with a sharpie and drill them out so I got holes for these holes. Right? So the thought here is I'll be able to put this through from the bottom. And when I line this up, I'll have bolts drop through to here. Now when I get the speaker in the box up from the underside, I can stick my bit through, right through there, and tighten the screws up, which will bring it all together. Thought about, oh, let me rephrase that. I tried over here, proof of concept first, and put the speaker through the bracket and screw it to the box and lifted the box up, thinking I'd just throw some nuts on the bottom of there and well, that's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm going to try this method. See if this is any easier since I'm able to get my fat hands around there and get the nuts on it. So I picked me up some uh, flat socket cap screws. Got these from Menards because they're close. But, you know, just the little flusher guys. It's less sticking up when I do the whatever this piece of cardboard thing is that goes across the back. But let's see how this does. Before you go dropping it in there, make sure you mount your speakers up. Terminated my connectors here with some heat shrink stuff. Sure, I'm lined up with my connectors. 
you know, typical putting figures in a box thing. But we're going to mount this. I'll try to make sure I don't clip the edge of the lip here. So I'm going to try to find the center, top and bottom. There. I'll mark it. I can drill this out. Okay, gents. Oh, these are pre drilled. Be able to just match them up from the top side right down on in here. Now that everything's figured out, put these bolts back in there. Use the one inch on the back side here. Quarter twenty by one inch is uh, a little indentation there. So there it is. I've got it mounted up here now. We're in my strip cock up underneath where the package tray meets the flange. Seal that up. And if you drive like me or listen to your music like me and a lot of movement, you might want to double nut your bolts here so they don't come out, which I did. Should keep them from backing off. And then don't do what I did and run the included sheet metal screws into wood. What it's designed for you can tell that because the name says sheet metal screws i ran some wood screws in there and sold them great so i'm gonna run a piece of sound under right there and uh i'll move the other side but as you can see it's nice and flush ish just a little bit of head right there that's all the guy ever needs right and that should be just enough a little cardboard deal will Actually, when I put the sound under on that, it'll just smooth it on out. So that should help. And I'll trim this hole out so the speaker can still get speaker noises through. And well, there you go. Hopefully that gives you an option on how to mount your speakers in the package tray. I've seen people for years where they just cut a hole and drop it through. And some folks, it looks great. My buddy Jason did that. I just cannot stand. When you look in there, custom car, and you see these speaker grills, I just feel like I feel like it can do a little bit better, look a little more modern, maybe not see it at all or know it's there, just hear it. Just a personal preference of mine. So this is what I came up with. Those little speaker adapters, I think, were like 15 bucks. Uh, you really don't need the box. You could use the little, what are they called, the little clips you thread the sheet metal screws into and put those on the flange, the little plastic flange, and you can mount your speaker to that and have it be free baffle or free air or infinite baffle or whatever they call it, where it just dangles. Um, for bass, that doesn't really help a lot. You don't get a lot of boom in the speaker is why I chose a box, ported box, if you will. But there's a million different options out there. Um, this one just fit my bill. Hopefully it can help you. Uh, we get the part number. Speaker adapters were 82 8149, 12 and up Camry 6x9 plate. And then whatever boxes you decide to run, that's what allowed me to do this. So, hope that helps you out. Got me to do something on a Sunday. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. That will help me a ton. And we'll see you on the next one.